Cheers. It's your team, Face of the Globe, 2016 Queen, Emily Martin here, reporting for YouTube duties. And on this week's episode of Spotlights On, we're shining the light on sponsorship. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get this video started. How do I find a sponsor is such a commonly asked question on the Face of the Globe Grand Finalist page. So here are some simple tips and tricks and ways to help you find a sponsor for your Face of the Globe pageant journey. When you're on the hunt for sponsorship, it might seem tricky on figuring out where to start. The easiest thing that you can do is begin by writing up a sponsorship letter. This is a copy of my sponsorship letter just here. And I also included a page with my details and photos of myself as well. What you need to include in your sponsorship letter is your pageant, why you need sponsorship, what they will get in return for their sponsorship, and the list goes on. However, you can find great details on writing a sponsorship letter in the Face of the Globe handbooks and also on the Face of the Globe website. Okay, so now you've finished writing up your sponsorship letters. It's time to send them out. You can send your sponsorship letters via email, in the post, or my personal favourite, delivering them face to face. When speaking to local businesses face to face, they see you for you and understand what exactly you're seeking sponsorship for. It is also a more easy way for them to want to sponsor you, as they're seeing who exactly they are sponsoring and why they should give you the money to send you overseas for your international pageant journey. Okay, so sometimes sponsorship can be a little difficult to find. So offering something in return for sponsorship is a great enticement to get businesses involved. In my sponsorship letter, I detailed that I would do promotional modelling work for free in return for sponsorship. One thing that I cannot stress enough is that if you do manage to find a sponsor, keep in constant contact with them. They're investing a fair bit of money in you and your international pageant journey and they want to know what you're getting up to. So make sure you're contacting them either by a phone or email, Facebook Messenger, so they know what you're doing. Applying for sponsorship at businesses that are relative to the pageant industry is going to be an easier way to find a sponsor. Applying at beauty salons, hairdressers, shoe shops, dress shops, makeup shops, the list goes on. All of these businesses are more likely to have ties to the pageant industry and are more likely to be willing to sponsor you. Contacting local businesses that are owned by family or friends is also an easier way to gain sponsorship. These business owners already know who you are and know about your personality and what you're doing. So these people are more likely to sponsor you as well. So make sure you try and contact as many local businesses that are owned by family and friends as possible. One of the fantastic things about the Face of the Globe sponsorship system is that you have the ability to split your sponsorship fee with two separate businesses. This makes the amount of money for each business that they have to put forward smaller and that way you're more likely to gain sponsorship. Even if you only find one half paying sponsor, you can always do family or friend sponsorship, which is another great thing about the Face of the Globe sponsorship system. You can sponsor yourself. So if you can't find a sponsor, always have that in the back of your mind. At the end of the day, never be disheartened to ask for sponsorship. You can only get one of two answers, yes or no. And if you do receive a no, don't let it dishearten you. Pick yourself up and try again. And just a little personal story to conclude this video. When I applied for sponsorship, I sent out around 60 sponsorship letters and only received two or three replies. The sponsor that I had at the end of the day, Bella Chic Beauty, was a local beauty salon who I didn't even know the business owner of. However, she ended up full sponsoring me and now in return I'm offering free modelling work for her local beauty salon. Don't be afraid, keep asking and stick to your guns. Finding sponsorship can be daunting and a little difficult, but at the end of the day it is possible. So go out there girls and find a sponsor. I hope this video has been of use to you guys in finding sponsorship. Don't forget to like up this video and subscribe for upcoming Spotlights on videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time, bye!